Hello, YouTube friends and family. My name is Jen Zahari, and I developed this channel, rebranded this channel, in order to help share my life experiences, information that I've studied, education that I've had throughout the years, and also humans that I've studied throughout the years with the world and with my audience of who chooses to follow me. I have quite an extensive amount of personal experience within every topic that I talk about. Now I can tell you many of my experiences have been messy, always beautiful, more so than both of those with every single dance that I've had in life. I've had so much growth and just an immense amount of learning and development personally within all of those moments. I can tell you one of the areas you're going to hear a lot about here on this channel is weight loss, nutrition, obesity, body image, and the mental game that comes with all of those. I grew up as an obese child and I was obese more than likely I could have been defined as morbidly obese until my early 20s. And in my early 20s, I'm so grateful to say that I let go of 160 pounds. Now, for anyone who's been in the heavy or weight conversation or obesity conversation, I know you're going to hear me when I say that the words and the social things that you hear when you're heavy are hard. And they can cause you and your mind and beliefs to be built that no one belongs having and no one belongs to stay in. And in the content on this channel, you're going to hear my strategies of how I've not only changed that head conversation, again, that was built in me at a very young age from direct experiences, but also how I stave it off, especially guys, when you're heavy and then you have that 30 pound hormonal weight that likes to come and go and the physiological shifts that come with aging having that mind space right is so key to making sure you keep your emotional balance in check some other topics that i'm extremely passionate about are around the areas of anxiety self-doubt self-concept body image and even some conversations around depression now i bring all of these topics forward because they're things that i've personally experienced and have worked through at different points within my life some of these I experienced for years, other ones were just for moments. Again, I'll share my strategies, my tactics, and the things that I use and have used that have helped me most. Another thing that I'm extremely passionate about that has worked for me so gratefully is being our own test subject. Now, the thing of it is, is the things that I share, some may work for you, some may not for, work for you nutritionally, movement, emotional balance. I'm going to give you a whole lot of strategies and tactics. Try them, give them an honest chance, decide what works for you, decide what doesn't. Fact is, is my body and my DNA is different than yours. And if you just take front center stage of getting good at you, you're going to get good at that inner conversation and that in your body and what you want your body to do and be. You're another area within tied within everything I've already mentioned that you're going to hear me talk a lot about is thyroid and hormones on a fairly consistent basis. So I experienced thyroid cancer at 36 years old, and it caused me to have a complete thyroidectomy. For anyone who has thyroid issues, you might hear me when I say thyroid issues can wreak havoc on your hormones especially when it's in duration. So I had my cancer experience was about 11 years ago. And it certainly has impacted me now more over 40 than it did prior to then. So you're going to, again, hear my tips, tricks, strategies of what I've used and how I keep those things in check, both nutritionally, movement, sleep, fitness, all of it. At some point, my goal is to also have some experts in the field of hormones and thyroid on the channel. So more to come on that in the future. At times, you're going to hear me talk about relationships and kids. I have a nearly 24-year relationship with my husband and a 23-year-old son. 
And with that, I can tell you, I've navigated some pretty tough moments on just having to realign relationships. When you're in a long-term relationship, things change, people change, people grow. And if you're not communicating and changing along with it, it can make relationships really hard. Through momhood, I've experienced every emotional point on the spectrum. So I'll also share tips on that. Next up, I'm an author and I'm extremely passionate about writing in a fiction format about mental wellness, anxiety, depression, self-thought, how we talk to ourselves. Occasionally, you're going to hear me read clips of my book so that you can get a better understanding of how I write, who I am as an author. And my goal is that you'll get pieces along the way that can help you on your journey in the story format. As you can hear, I'm a very multifaceted, multi-passionate person. You're going to hear a lot of things around a lot of topics that I've experienced and walked through in life. Because I am so passionate, I can tell you one of the biggest that stands out for all parts of who I am is making sure everyone in my world is heard, seen, and understood. I'm working to create space to help allow other people to share and just be heard. And in the meantime, connect with me. Send me what you're going through. Send me that hardness. Send me, Jen, here's what I have going on. What would you do? And I will be integrating some of that content into my videos for all of you so that you can take what, take what you want, use what you will. Some of the things that I'll mention will land, some of them won't, won't. And my goal is that in every situation, it will allow you to, to have normalized what you're going through and it'll allow you to be heard. Trust me, I'm the person who wants to hear you. And you will always be heard with unjudgmental ears. In my opinion, every human on the planet deserves to be heard. So there you have it, friends. I'm excited to go on this ride with you. Stay very well and more to come. Bye, guys.